All right, so from all the data type that I can choose, I'm going to go ahead and transfer some WhatsApp data like chats and whatnot. I'm going to click on next and then I'm going to have that process be transferred from my iPhone to my Android phone. It's going to ask for my password on the iPhone, so I'm going to add that and then it's going to start backing up the data from the iPhone. And then as you can see, it is now asking me to follow the steps so that it can properly transfer it or restore it to my Android device. And as you can see, it successfully did the transfer and made sure that the WhatsApp data that I transferred from my iPhone has been successfully sent over to my Android phone. Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to transfer data from Android to iPhone or from iPhone to Android and it's really easy. Before we start the tutorial, I just wanna give you a quick disclaimer to do this at your own risk. We're using a third party application so data loss may occur. So please do this at your own risk and make sure to back up your data before doing anything. So let's go ahead and start the tutorial. You can go to a link in the description box to download this tool that's called Mobile Trans WhatsApp Transfer or Mobile Trans Data Transfer. They have a lot of features on this application. You can back up your Android phone and transfer it completely to your iPhone, or you can do the other way around. And the process is easy. All you need to do is tap on download. If you're on a Windows app uh, device, you can download it from Windows. If you're on a Mac, you can download it from Mac. I'm gonna do the one for Mac. And then once you download the application, you double click on it, and then you go through the setup wizard by clicking on next and agreeing to the policy. I'm not going to do that because I already have the tool installed, but you can do that as well. If you have any issues, make sure to comment below and I'll show you what to do. After you install the application, you go ahead and open it and then you go ahead and connect the two devices that you want the transfer to take place. I'm going to connect the iPhone. Once you connect the iPhone, it's going to ask for your passcode and then you add the passcode and it's going to connect. On Android, it's a bit different, so I'm going to show you how the process is for the first time you connect it. Like I said, this is only for the first time. If you do use the, the application in the future, this is not gonna happen again. But when you first connect your Android phone, you're gonna have to play around with the settings a bit. So make sure to grab a cable and then connect that Android device to your laptop, whether it's a Mac or a Windows, the steps are the same. Once you connect your Android phone, you're gonna have to go ahead and then turn on USB debugging from the settings. It's gonna show you the instruction on this pop-up here, but I'm gonna also record my Android device and show it to you as well. So now you see the steps, but I'm gonna show you how they are on the Android settings. All you need is a cable, you plug it into your computer, and then you need to follow the steps that I'm gonna show you. So once you connect it to your laptop, you go to your settings application. It can be your normal settings application. Once you're in your settings application, you're gonna go ahead and scroll down until you find about phone. Once you're in about phone, you scroll down until you find build number. When you find build number, make sure to tap it five times simultaneously and very quickly. Once you do that, it's going to enable a feature called developer options. You can find it by scrolling down or searching for developer options. Once you're in developer options, you're going to go ahead and turn on USB debugging and then it's going to ask you for this pop-up. Just make sure to tap on allow and then it's going to successfully connect your Android phone to this mobile application that's called Mobile Trans. Once you have it connected, you can go ahead and start a transfer. You can do it from Android to iPhone or from iPhone to Android. And then you can also do multiple data like WhatsApp, actual data or anything that you want. I'm going to do it for WhatsApp data in this video. I'm going to go ahead and select the chats. You can do the videos if you want. I'm just going to do the chats. Once you do that and you click on next, it's going to ask for your iPhone passcode. Just make sure to add your iPhone passcode on your iPhone. It's going to start backing up the data from your iPhone and then it's going to go ahead and transfer it to the Android. For this video, we're going to do the transfer from iPhone to Android. You can always do it the other way around as well by clicking on the rotation icon. It's going to make sure to transfer data from Android to iPhone if that's what you want. Now it's going to back up and if you're enjoying the video, make sure to like and subscribe. So now it's backing up the data. Depending on how big the WhatsApp data is, this might take a while. I'm going to skip ahead until the data backup is complete. Once the data backup is complete, it's going to ask for the phone number of WhatsApp on the account that you're transferring data to. So since we're doing the one from iPhone to Android, we're going to add the phone number of the WhatsApp number that's on the Android phone because that's what the target device is. So make sure to correctly type that number. After you do that, it's going to start restoring the data from the backup that it did onto your Android phone. Now it's going to ask you for a few steps when the restore is complete. Just make sure to follow the steps as it shows you. 
depends on the Android device that you have. So the steps might be different from one phone to another. But when the restore is complete, it's going to ask you to start some steps on your Android phone uh, manually. And it's going to show you a pop up with a few screens. Obviously, like I mentioned, each device might have its own instructions, but it's going to show you all the options on this uh, application. So now we're going to wait for the restore to complete. And then it's a resource complete. Now make sure to select the screen that you're seeing on your WhatsApp application. So go ahead and open WhatsApp, look at your phone and choose the screen that you're seeing on your Android phone. When you see that screen, make sure to select the one that you're seeing on the application as well. That way they match. Once you select the one that you see from your Android phone and also on the application, you can go ahead and click on next. After you click on next, it's going to ask you for an additional step, which is also to match the screen that you're seeing. So I'm going to go ahead and, and select the one that I'm seeing on my Android phone, and then I'm going to select it on the application as well, just to make sure they match. After you do that, it's going to ask you for another step. So let's go ahead and choose the one that I'm seeing on my Android phone. Now you're going to ask, it's going to ask you for a few more steps too. So you have two options here, select the one that you see on your Android phone, and then follow the steps as you're seeing on the mobile trans application on your laptop. Once you follow those steps and then you click on next, the process should start very quickly and then the backup should be complete or in other words, the transfer should be complete. So I'm going to go ahead and click on next because I did follow the steps on my Android phone correctly. And then after that, I'm going to click on next and then the process should finalize. So I'm going to click on OK. And then as you can see, after I click on OK, it will say that the process has been finalized and the restore has been complete and the WhatsApp data has been transferred from my iPhone to Android. It's pretty much the same steps if you do it the other way around, but just make sure to follow the steps that you see on the application's instructions. Make sure to do so correctly and please make sure to back up the data before you start this process. I'm going to show you how to back up your WhatsApp data on Android. You can go to your Android phone and then open WhatsApp on your Android application. We're going to do this to make sure that we don't have any data loss happen in the process. So go to the three dots, tap on settings, and then scroll down to where you see chats, tap on chats, and then you'll have an option to select an Android account or a Google account. You can select chat back up here and then select the email account or Google account that you want this data to be backed up to. Select any of the email addresses that you want or have access to. After that, you can tap on backup and it's going to back up your WhatsApp data. Like I said, I'm going to do this so that if a data loss happens, we'll be able to recover the data without any issues. So I'm going to tap on backup and that's how you do it on Android. On iPhone, it's a bit different. So I'm going to go ahead and grab an iPhone, go to my WhatsApp application, and then I'm going to show you how to back up your WhatsApp data in case something happens and you have a data loss. So go to your WhatsApp application and then go to where it says settings. After that, scroll down and then find chats. When you're on chats, you can tap on chat backup. So you can back up your WhatsApp data to your iCloud account. If you don't have storage, you can obviously expand it. But if you do have storage, you can back it up there. And then that's how you make sure that your data is not, uh, your data is secured and data loss might not happen. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.